Oh yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it real good. Let's talk about these Illuminati pimps, conspiracy theorists. I mean, you can learn a lot from them. Some of them got credible information and stuff like that. When it comes to Black Panther, y'all need to listen real good. Now they claiming it's Illuminati conspired. See what I'm saying? And uh, Wendy Williams, when it comes to her, she took a rest. What she need to do? Everyone needs a rest from the muck and mire, the gossip. You know, basically this woman, I don't hate the woman. You know, she keeps you know, she keeps us abreast. She's like a extension to TMZ. She talks talks about the gossip, about the stars and stuff. And uh, a lot of people can't stand her because, I mean, that's what she get paid for. Look, TMZ, Winnie Williams, ain't nothing but the paparazzi on steroids. That's it when you look at it. You got to look at it like that. That's what they get paid for. Ain't that something? They get paid to talk about celebrities, just like a lot of people on YouTube. Just like I'm doing. But I don't got that kind of money they getting paid for. But that's, that's neither here nor there. My thing is this. You got to see it for what it is. Illuminati pimp game. Pimps, you know. But uh, but but what confuses me is a lot of slander. I seen some almost fell to the floor laughing. They said Wendy Williams is some some crazy person. Wendy, Wendy Williams is deceased. She's a clone and she's a tranny. So what they saying, she's, someone took her out. The, the, the elites took her out. They cloned her, and she's a, a tranny, and that's not Wendy Williams. Look, let me tell you something, family. Some of these people on social media, they're getting bored. They know if they put someone that's in, in the know, in the title box, they're going to get some hits. Come on. Everyone know the game now. So they make up, they concoct some kind of ideology and narrative and upload a video, and they don't know what the hell they're talking about. The lady's taking the rest. She, she's chilling out, What she should do. And she already said she got ailments and stuff like that. She got thyroid, some kind of thyroid issue, something like that. And her eyes was hurting and stuff like that. She need to chill out. Maybe it's get, I mean, when you, see, no one knows what that lady's going through in her secret life, okay? Some of y'all probably don't even want to be in this woman's shoes, but, hey, it is what it is. This, this is what she signed up for. She's a personality. She's a radio personality. She's a journalist slash journalist radio personality. That's that's her claim to fame. You know, I'm not going to destroy this woman because of her character, because that's what she signed up for. That's it. If you don't like her, don't support her. You know, facts. I want you all to see how people on YouTube, since I've been on here, they're talking about Illuminati this, Illuminati that, Illuminati this, Illuminati that. But you do, do you know the origin of the Illuminati? Don't you know Adam Wish Wish Herps or Wish Hop, whatever that guy's name, instituted this indoctrination in the year 1776, May the 1st? That's when the plan was finished. Him and his boys, him and his alchemists, philosophers, people of well-renowned, people of professions, they interloped. They got, somehow they knew how to get into and infiltrate the stone mason guilds, the lodges. So they, so, so they weave their way in the fraternity and put their John Hancock and, and all their documentation in a Masonic order. And they got initiated and they, actually, they, they 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 thugs, you know, him and his boys are thugs. So they say, hell with it. We want to see what this Illuminati, we want to see what this, not Illuminati, because that the Illuminati term came from him and his flock. So they figure out a way to weave their asses in the stonemason guilds. Do your research, do your history. Everything I'm saying is fact. Look it up. It's here on YouTube. The making of the Illuminati. He is the co-founder, not Albert Pipe. Albert, Albert, uh, Albert Pipe, Albert Pipe, excuse me, played an important, he played an important role in it. 
a major road. They still got they got a statue down there by uh, down in um in the Judiciary Square down downtown Washington D.C. His statue's still down there, and he's responsible for uh, being a co-conspirator or or creator in the uh, Knights what what that Knights of the Round Circle something like that the, the KKK. Let's put it like that. They say he uh, created the KKK. It's a lot of it's a lot of uh, you know, going back and forth with that. But they say he's involved with, you know, constructing and creating, and he was the kingpin of the KKK. They try to say he was a fraud or whatever. He died broke. Then they say he was a spiritual guy. Then they say he was a Luciferian. It's a lot of things. Read Morals and Dogma. It's here on YouTube, if, if it's still up to videos and stuff like that. You know, I read some of Morals and Dogma. He... He twists a lot of religion, a lot of philosophy. He put his own narrative and ideology on it. It's like a it's like a, a puzzle. You know, when you read some of his uh, degrees, you see where this man has come from. I'm like, oh, now you're not gonna confuse me. He throw everything up in there, family. You know, order out of chaos. That's one of their models. In order for you to understand certain things, you gotta go to the origin. You gotta see why these men that passed away, that was born in those times in the 1800s, 1700s, and stuff like that. You know, 1500s, 1400s, whatever the case may be. Ancient, you know, to me it is, because that's a long time ago. You got to see why these men went hard in the paint. Okay? When it comes down to it, it's about Anglo-Saxons, ethnicity, they Anglo-Saxon, the ethnicity of the Anglo-Saxon ruling the world. Now, a lot of our black people that, prominent black people that went to Yale and went to all the top universities that's, you know, in the know in America. So as the presidents, you had um, the Bushes, Room 322. You see that picture of all the presidents and stuff like that. It's right on the internet. All you got to do is research it. Uh... They went to Yale, uh, President Tav, you know, one guy was responsible for running, op he was an opium burn and stuff like that. So these things are common, commonplace, meaning the documentation is up there. Now, what can you decipher from it as a melanated person is up to you. When the facts is presented to you on the table of life, what is going to do for you? I tell you what, you could take from that and know how to maneuver within your life process as you living in America. These are the tools and the games they done to orchestrate their doctrine, orchestrate their lives to make money. Okay, now you have successful roles, successful roles, the Rose Scholarship. You know, now, as I recall, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm talking, I'm talking about the guys and girls that really research. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think I'm right. He didn't have no errors. So he wielded his all his interloping, all the things he 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 coughed up in Africa, him and his boys, him and his British flock. You know, they, it, you know, it was in a document he wrote for his people. Africa is the further expansion of the Anglo-Saxon race, meaning that what he was saying that we're going to carve it up. And they've been carving up since then up until now. Then you had the Belgian king. You had King Leopold III, you know, was going into Congo, instituting slavery, murder, and death, stealing all the rubber out of there and creating the rubber for the cars in America, you know, the rubber tree. Rubber comes from a tree in Africa. Africa is a breadbasket. Africa is... Got every resource known to man, the minerals, the precious metals, the diamonds, the gold, blood diamonds. Does that ring a bell? Why them people over there dying and uh, uh, were instituted and coerced tribalism? They're killing each other. Why non melanin people is going to the back door, still exploiting the land and getting and getting rich. Now you got the Asian man over there setting up a shop and got the indigenous people, you got the indigenous people of indigenous peoples excuse me of africa basically slaving for them how that look 
See, it's a lot of things going on, fam. Y'all need to realize, you know, I don't like this. You know, I'm going to tell you something. I like to do stuff that's local, but I do research and I do videos that is not local. Okay? You got to get a whole scope of things. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? Then you'll see why some of us in the positions we are. Now, like I was saying, I'm telling you folks, they do the same thing in America. They do it over in Africa. Those people on those councils, those United Nations, those puppets, same old thing. Those the same kind of people that sold us, which is Hebrews. You see all those, you see all those glad, you see all these videos about these Hebrew Israelites. That's what they're talking about. They're talking about the same puppet people that sold us into slavery, which is us. The ones that was born here, the real true Israelites, which is us. We're not African American. We're not African. We Hebrews. The true Jews. Now if y'all do y'all studying, you got your if he op if he if he open your Jews, they black. And ask them. Over there and ask them. Okay? Black. Darker than me. It's like you see those dark sisters, dark sisters and brothers on, on Black Panther. That's how them Ethiopians. That's their skin color, black folks. Ethiopian Jews, the unabridged text of the Bible. If you want to get a real holy Bible, get the Ethiopian Bible, not the King James version. But you got to add that in too. If you're gonna add one, add all, even the lost books, and it explains why. The wars is keep going on. The Book of Maccabees, the Book of Jubilees. I didn't told y'all this in so many videos. Then it will connect you. You will connect all that stuff and see why you be like, oh, that's right. It, you know, you got to do the heavy lifting, folks. You got to do the heavy lifting. You got to do your research. Okay, it's a deep hit. Y'all need to share this video. Y'all need to subscribe to this channel and learn something. Now, all those other cats y'all see, I ain't on that. I ain't on no science fiction stuff, the greys, reptilian this, and uh, the giants, and the blah, 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 that transhumanism, the sex robots, and what else? What else are we talking about? Oh, a big trend, time traveler. Time travelers. That's a bunch of crock. Those people are demons. All they doing is um, tampering with the creation, tampering, with all kinds of stuff. People may think it's funny, they may think it's entertaining, but it's serious. That kind of stuff will destroy the human race. Man do not control time. Man do not control time. You understand me? God controls time. And no one will know how old this world is. Don't let these people fool you. Even our calendar is suspect. It's wrong. We don't know what year we, they created the years. Man created the years, not God. We don't even know what year. You think it's 2018. It's an, it ain't 2018. Even the holidays is wrong. Even the Sabbath day is wrong. Y'all know this. Guys have been screaming on street corners for, you know, for days talking about this. But I'm going to take it even more deeper. Okay? That's what y'all got to understand. You know? I was outside when I done my other one, you know, I was, you know, was a lot of distraction. So now I'm in a confined place doing this and so I can gather my thoughts and be more concentrated and meditating on this production. And that's why I'm bringing you this. When it's on my mind, I'm going to bring you the truth. I've been hearing a lot of uh, YouTubers being shut down too, dude, because of the truth. Well, that means they doing something and, and this closes down or oh well. I have other uh, channels, you know, it's about learning, you know, I don't know, I can't speak for nobody else, you know, a lot of people like to entertain and do their publications and add knowledge, I mean, they got the technology, go ahead, go ahead, y'all know, I, I, I encourage y'all, watch my older videos, I'll be doing some, I <laughs> Some of my older videos, I put a lot of work in, you know. Sometimes I don't feel like doing it, you know. It's not about it's, it's not about so much as the 
to me, it's not about all the entertainment trying to, it, it is to a certain extent because you want to bring people some quality of production, but the message, that's what you need. To, you need to be listening to the voice. You need to be listening to the message. Can you comprehend? Can you marinate? Can you understand what I'm saying? That's what you need to be focused on. Now I'm giving y'all a lot of knowledge. Okay. I know y'all been saying people, y'all know I don't ask for donations at the end of my video. Not, I really don't care about money. Because money, if you know how to get money, that's what it is. You're going to get money. And I know how to get money. Okay? And once you know that, once you master that, hey, the sky's the limit. That's what you got to master. A lot of, I see, I know there's a lot of people, they, they, they going crazy. They so addicted to this, they put their whole life in this. Which I wouldn't do, but that's to each his own. Um, yeah, it's a lot to talk about, fam. There's a lot to chop up. This Illuminati pimp game is so funny to me. I want y'all to be students of the game. Watch, watch, not only watch my videos, let's go across YouTube and watch videos. Watch how many people that, just like China, Black China. I, I finally seen a video today, lame. I'm not going to get into it because cause YouTube has changed their policy. I watched the video, I laughed, lame. Something that could have been never leaked. It should have been never leaked, but you are what you are. Like I said in that previous video, you, you live that life, you will be exposed by others. She thinks she got a lot of friends, she must be crazy. You don't have a lot of friends, okay? I hope, just like I said in that video, I hope she, I hope she changed her life for the better, not the worse. That's all I can say about her. But anyway, that's the industry. The industry is not going to change because we didn't create the music industry within America. That's not, a, I mean, it's not our baby. We didn't create entertainment in America. Who still is the major conglomerates and CEOs of music entertainment and acting? entertainment it's not us we got a few people that own you know moguls that own certain stuff but the vast majority is still non-melanated okay so until we lock stock and barrel own stuff that we need to own and project ourselves and portray ourselves in the way we want to portray it that's how it's going to be if you're going to roll this way or you're going to roll the other way you know, you roll with them, certain things, rules and regulations and stipulations, they ain't going to let you, they ain't going to broadcast you and show you, they want to show you in the way they want to show you. So in actuality, you still be in control to a certain extent because you under a thumb of or oppressive, you know, oppressive entertainment industry. Okay. It's very deep. That's what I understand. So they taking, like I said, at room three two. They they still y'all. I want y'all to get this. They you got to understand this. This Illuminati stuff is our knowledge. I keep telling y'all this. All they did is took our knowledge, sabotaged us, dispersed us. That slave trade done a lot of damage to us. Right up until now, it shows, or we wouldn't be getting incarcerated, or we wouldn't be still killing each other. So all that stems from still that slave trade. Some of us have never, you know, got over that. The ones that's incarcerated, the ones that still doing drugs, the ones that still shooting each other, the ones that hate their own skin they in, uh, uh, trying to alter their self, trying to change their self, trying to look more European. I'm talking about the women and the men, the men and the women. That's because you still under a curse and you got to get, out of that curse okay people keep screaming about the guys with skinny jeans men are looking effeminate uh women are looking masculine because they still under the curse they haven't came into their natural selves and this is why they put the devices in the dark community so you won't come to your natural selves i'm here to bring you this publication to tell you how to get out of that you know dreadlocks Y'all seen my dreads. Y'all seen my face. You know, that's how I, not, I mean, that's, this is my natural way of living. This is, this, this is black man. You know, every, every black man can't grow, grow hair, but grow your hair naturally. 
You know, y'all call it nappy hair, kinky hair. No, that this is our follicles. This is our hair follicles. This is our natural heritage. I see women with bushes or whatever y'all want to call it, nappy bushes. They got them hooked up. I see women with, I'm talking about the women that wear their natural hair. It's beautiful. Let me tell you something about melanated culture and people. When you suppress the way you look, when you try to uh, put chemicals in yourself and bleach your skin and do all this th kind of crazy stuff, you know, you go to those those surgeons of death, liposuction and all that bull crap. All you're doing is destroying yourself. It's called diet. It's called eating the right way. It's called going into the fields like the holy books say and find the herbs that will get the that will get the worms and stuff out you, detox you. You got worms in your gut. Always remember this. Destruction starts in your gut. Meaning that it's what you put in your body, if it's if it's death, if it's not nourishing, if it's not helping you, if it's not elevating you, if if you don't have no energy, if that food and that liquid is destroying you, that means it's death. You are what you eat, and what you eat is what you think. So you got a lot of people around here with dysfunctional attitudes because it's what they intake. Okay? See, this is the knowledge they don't want y'all to learn. They want y'all to learn the fast food, you know, uh, 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 ball, ball out of control, uh, just, just, just spend all kind of money. That's the American dream, you know, make this, make, make that, you know, ball until you fall. All that philosophy they trying to kick. Hmm. Y'all need to think about it. So. When you see this Illuminati pimp gang, that's what it is. And let me tell you something before I end this. Everybody that's an entertainer, everybody that's an actor, everybody is just a layman or a common man or a common woman. You know, and these people do these videos about, oh, the symbolism. They ain't they Illuminati, they ain't Illuminati, they ain't Illuminati, they ain't Illuminati, they ain't Illuminati. Let me tell you something. The very founders of the Illuminati was Anglo-Saxon. The Illuminati, the very people who created the Illuminati, they, they already put in their documents that no other ethnicity, other than their ethnicity, okay? Meaning that only Anglo-Saxon people, not black people. So always remember this, the ones you think that's in the Illuminati, they ain't nothing but puppets of the Illuminati. They're not in the inner sanctum of the Illuminati. They are puppets. Don't get it confused. They are not in the Illuminati. Black folks is not in the Illuminati. They are puppets. Why would you be in a counterfeit institution anyway that's called an Illuminati? Why would you want to join something that's counterfeit? And then to add insult to injury, it's off of our own doctrine. That's a slap in the face. I'm out.